Good morning. Today is Thursday, the 17th of January. It's, it wasn't a, a profitable day at all for me because I broke the rule. When I opened up my chart at 9, I already noticed that we're in the danger zone. And we pretty much stayed in the danger zone without any clear cut holes. Except possibly here. This was a, a very nice clear cut hole going up at 9 o'clock. But I opened up my chart. Yeah, I opened up my chart here. Yeah, I missed this clear cut pull on the way up. Um, although I did get in there and made some profit, according to this. But I made the mistake of once again staying in a sideways market. So there are really two plays of the day. One is a, this is a definite pull with at least prime and uh, C strongly going up through the through the jerk with uh, B going along with you plus of course the indicators so that was a proper one to take and then of course we get out once uh, B hits a red line but this is my problem this is not a strong pull that should have been taken why because Delta went down through the uh, red jerk instead of through this green jerk. Although you do have uh, prime and C together, but C went sideways. So essentially, when that went sideways, I should have just plain got out and just stayed out. Um, next is this is not a good pull either. A pull down. That was a weak, a very weak pull down. Uh, and why is it not a good pull down? Because you don't have a great angle of attack of prime. Uh, and, and, and prime has already gone through the jerk. So just plain stayed out because it's jerk flat. So the best thing to do was stay out, stay out, stay out because the jerk is flat. Um, and finally, right here, you had uh, Delta is already on the other side, except it's not a good one either because Prime has already cut through the jerk. But everybody is with you, and uh, B is um, uh, cuts through the jerk, so you could take that for a long. And uh, I did pretty much take that for a long. That's how I got rid of my negatives. Now, this one, uh, it's not really a good short either, although you could take that to be profitable. So basically, it's a uh, jitterbug kind of day with being in the danger zone, and uh, I should just not have played in it. It was hard for me to make profit. Well, I reached my limit of 12 fills, so I called it a day. Interestingly enough, the 15 minutes says oh, we were up from 8.30 on up to um, 9.45. So 9.45, let's look at 8.30. Yeah, right here we're at 95, 95.10 by 9.45, So $800 up. So the 15 minute is correct, $800 up. So, well, pretty much lessons learned. I still need to have the discipline of just staying out during sideways and just waiting for those pulls. And I'm not waiting for the, for the pulls. 
And what would have happened if I just played the um, inflections here? And the inflections would be the, the dot, the dot triangle. Uh, that would have, this would have been profitable going up. Uh, this one is, is iffy if I would have played that because it, it wasn't all together. But uh, yeah, that, that was a good one to play. Um, oh, this one is, is a false. <laughs> if I played that for a down, it wouldn't have lasted long. This one is a false. Play that for a down, wouldn't have lasted long. So bias has has something to do with it. This one is true. I could have played that. Uh, no, nope. turned out to be false also because of the flatness. Now this one. Uh, no. Nope. Yes, that was true. If I just held on, that was. This is true. This is true. And this is true. So, if nothing else, there were two plays of the day. One that um, started at uh, 9.42, and, and then it took, took the reverse right here at 9.56. And um, would we still be in there? Uh, yeah, we would still be in it. Or we would have exited right now. So... Um, let me look at the 15 minute. 15 minute says we would still be in it. Yep. Because now it's a down type market. So um, again, not profitable. Uh, lost uh, 510 right now towards our goal. 12 trades. See you next time. 7.